Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of Team Minus 365, where I demystify Microsoft solutions for the MSP space. I just want to start this video by saying thanks. I recently passed the 3,000 subscriber mark here on the channel, so I just want to say thanks for all of your support and awesome feedback on the videos I've created over the past year. It's been a great learning experience for me, and in the future here, I only hope to continue to grow with this community and continue to experiment with new ways to get you guys the best content. Which is why in this episode I'm actually sharing my screen and it feels very awkward, but I am getting used to it. So today's video, I'm gonna be covering a script that I wrote here for automating the documentation of all of your Intune enrolled devices in IT Gloom. So with that, let's go ahead and hop in. So getting into it here, just wanted to show some of the final output of the script and then we'll get into the intricate details. What we're doing here is we're creating this new flexible asset in IT Clue called Intune Devices. And within there, we're looping through all of our customers and we're documenting any enrolled devices with certain metadata for each customer. So in this particular case, this customer has three devices that we saw that were enrolled into this Intune service. And we have all this metadata like the ownership type, if it's corporate or personal, we have the compliance state, whether or not it's compliant or not. We have the autopilot enrolled status here, so you can track that. You can see if it's encrypted with Firevault or BitLocker. You can track the serial number. And then lastly, I'm making a soft match between the configuration and the Intune device based off of the serial number. So as long as you have this populated, it'll find the existing configuration and cross tag them so that they are linked within IT Glue as well. So this is a very easy script in the sense that we're just looping through IT glue and soft matching it with companies and partner center, pulling that necessary information from the customer environment and then documenting it here within the script itself. There's a couple of prerequisites here. I'll link my GitHub page below, which details all of this. But essentially here, first and foremost, you're gonna need your API keys from one, the secure application model, which at the end of the day is an application ID, an application secret, and a refresh token. And that is something that I'm not gonna really cover in this video, but you can go to this page on GitHub and run that script to create that application that you use to create a secure headless authentication into your customer environments. You'll also need this IT Glue API key here of which you can derive from a IT Glue's a documentation. And then lastly, the secure application model generates an app registration within your Active Directory environment. There's a couple of permissions though that you'll need to have listed and granted for that application. And those you can find in Microsoft's documentation of how to add permissions. These are delegated permissions that you give to the app, which allows us to read this information about the Intune enrolled device. Otherwise, when you run the script, you're gonna get errors about 403 unauthorized um, correspondence, you know, just saying that you don't have the necessary permissions. The actual script itself here is looking at gathering all of your keys, both from the secure application model and also from uh, IT Glue. And then it is looping through, getting all of the necessary information to create a new flexible asset. It also looks to see if this is an asset that has already been generated based off of the name. So this way you can not only run the script once to populate all your Intune devices, but the goal what I was trying to do here is so that you could run it periodically and update that information with the most up-to-date devices in IT Glue for the best documentation. So in this particular case, you know, we're getting all the contacts and then we're getting all of the particular device information from Partner Center for a particular company and then we're populating it or we're setting it if it is already existing. So we'll detect that if it already has these objects within IT Glue and just we'll simply update them versus creating new devices on top of the ones that were already in there every time you run the script. So that's everything that I wanted to showcase for you in this video. Feel free to comment below with any questions or any concerns about the script or just any feedback in general if you'd like to see more information in the output or different things, which is linked in IT Glue as well. Thank you guys for all of your support again, as I mentioned earlier. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe if you do wanna see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks guys, have a great day.